What's up guys, it's Minecraft Cooking Monster, and today I'm going to be doing another mod review. This mod is called the More Swords Mod by Dark Hacks, and it adds 14 new swords into the game. It also adds 11 new enchantments and a new villager type that you can trade with. Each sword has their own advantages and disadvantages, and some are really expensive. Some swords are only compatible with certain enchantments this game adds, and some of them aren't compatible with any of them. But all of them are compatible with vanilla enchantments. Anyway, onto the crafting recipes. Get rid of that string first, because that's not a part of the recipe. Well, anyway, the first sword that we have is called the Blaze Sword, and it does two hearts of damage and has uh, 400 durability. It can be crafted with two iron ingots, two gold ingots, and a blaze rod, and let's test it out on a spider. This sword is compatible with the Blaze enchantment that this game adds, and uh, as I kill this spider, four hits, okay. It's pretty powerful, but um. Next sword is the Blood Sword, and it does 3 hearts of damage and has 1500 durability. It can be crafted with 2 obsidian, 2 redstone, and a stick. And I'll test this one on a spider too. But this sword is compatible with 3 of the enchantments that this game adds, and we'll get into those later. This one takes 3 hits to kill a spider, so it's a step up from the Blaze Sword. So the next one we have is called the Bone Sword, and it does a heart and a half of damage, and can be crafted with five bones in a plus shape. Why are they called Bone Swords? Okay, I guess that's a bug, but um, I'm sure the mod creator will fix that. So, I'll test this one on the spider too. It only has 200 durability, so I wouldn't recommend enchanting it. But it's not like it's compatible with any of the uh, enchants that this mod adds anyway, so... Anyway, onto the best sword. This sword does two and a half parts of damage, and it only has 15 durability. This can be crafted with two glass panes over a stick, and they have to be glass panes. I've tried it with the glass block; it does not work. I don't know why. Just have the mod creator uh, coded it. But uh, anyway, I would not recommend enchanting this one because it only has 15 durability. But uh, the texturing for it looks really cool. I like how it looks transparent. So, uh, I'll just put this sword away, and we'll get on to the next one. Alright, so the next sword we have is called the Infinity Sword, and as you can see, we're getting into the bigger and better swords. This can be crafted with two blocks of iron and four iron ingots over a stick. It does three and a half hearts of damage and has 850 durability, so it's a pretty decent sword. You know, let's murder this spider. Two hits, very good. Uh, so, anyway next sword is called the Lapis Sword, and this texturing looks amazing. And we finally found a use for Lapis, thank you. So, uh, anyway, you need two Lapis Lazuli blocks over a stick, and you've got the Lapis Sword. This, ha this does a heart and a half of damage and has 750 durability, so it's not really good, but I like how it looks, so, yeah. This one has an enchantment too, it's called Greed, and we'll get into that one later. So, the next sword we have in this mod is called the Molten Edge, and it can be crafted with two lava buckets and two obsidian over a stick. It does, hold on, it does two hearts of damage, and it does 300, dur and it has 300 durability. I, I swear, I cannot speak whenever I record a video. It's not fair. But anyway, test it out on the spider. It's going to take a while, because it only does two hearts of damage. Like, four hits, apparently. Um, so yeah, the next sword we have is called the Aqueous sword and it can be crafted with buckets of water instead of buckets of instead of buckets of lava but other than that it's the same thing with the two obsidian and the stick the aqueous sword has an enchantment called ice aura which again I'll get into later and this sword does two hearts of damage and has 300 durability they're the same thing pretty much except this one has an enchantment and it's easier to craft so uh anyway I'll put this away and we'll move on to the next sword Alright, so now we're on to the big and expensive swords. So the first one we have in this S is called the Master Sword, and you can craft this using one iron ingot, one gold ingot, a stick, and two lapis lazuli on the sides of the gold ingot. So this sword does three hearts of damage and has 1450 durability, and this spider's scared of me, he doesn't want to fight because this sword is epic. So, uh, yeah, don't look at those zombies. Those are for later. 
So the next sword we have is called the Draconic Blade, and it does three and a half hearts of damage, and has 750 durability. You craft it. Wait, you craft it with um, four blocks of iron, a diamond, a redstone, dust, and a stick. This uh, this sword doesn't have an enchantment, but I'm sure it will eventually. I guess, but two hits on a spike, so it's a good sword. Only one diamond. Next one we have is extremely expensive, and it's called the Ion Sword. It does four hearts of damage and has 1,750 durability. It's crafted with four diamonds and two eyes of enders over a stick. That's ridiculous, but its enchantment, which you can probably guess because of the name, uh, is extremely helpful, and you know, you can see how it would help. Two hits on a spider, amazing sword, and it's really good. So. Next we have the Aether's Guard, and this one has a crazy recipe. has two glowstone dust, two diamonds, two iron ingots, two feathers, and a stick. That's a mouthful. But this sword does three and a half hearts of damage and has 1,000 durability as it two hits a spider. The texturing for this one, I love it. I mean, it looks just amazing. So, uh, anyway, I'll move on to the last chest where there's the last two swords to go into. I know you see the Bedrock Sword. That's the last one. It's mainly for server admins because, you know, how else are you going to get this without creative mode? But anyway, this is called the Withers Bane, and it's crafted with three Soul Sand, two Nether Quartz, and a Nether Star. That's right. You have to kill the Wither in order to be able to get this blade and to get this sword. But, uh,. I'm not really sure if that's worth it, but uh, I still think it looks cool, so. This sword does uh, two and a half hearts of damage, and it has 1,000 durability. So, I'm back, Spider. Alright, so, it's pretty decent. It has a lot of durability, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. But, lastly, we have the Adminium Arc, and it does 999 damage, and has just 9 million... 99,999,999 durability, and you craft it with two bedrock and a stick. That's a little overpowered, so I'll spawn three spiders with it. It's a one shot on anything, so yeah, that's not gonna be good if he comes after you. I'll, do it. I'll let him live. He wants to see the mod review. But uh, I'll just put it away, and we'll get into the enchantments that this game adds. Mod adds. God. So, as you can see, there's 11 enchanted books, and all of them have their own unique uh, abilities. The first one we have is called Stealth, and this one can be placed on the Adminium Arc. It makes the user uh, invisible for a period of time, and the first level has let makes you invisible for a minute, level 2 makes you last for 5 minutes, and level 3 for 20 minutes. So the next, uh, next enchantment we have is called Ascension, and it goes on the Aether's Guard. It causes uh, mobs to raise up into the sky, and each level adds a little bit more motion to it. Level 1.9, level 2, 1.3, and, and level 3, 1.6 motion upwards, so that might call, cause some fall damage. But the next one we have is called Isor, and this can be placed on the Aqueous Sword. This enchantment slows down mobs for an extended period of time with each level. Level 1 for 8 seconds, level 2 for 16 seconds, and level 3 for 32 seconds. So, yeah. The next enchantment we have is called Blaze, and this can be placed on the Blaze Sword. This enchantment acts like Fire Aspect, where it sets mobs on fire. The first level does a heart and a half of fire damage, the second level does two hearts, and the third level does two and a half hearts of fire damage. So the next one we have is called Feast, and this can be placed on the Blood Sword. Feast gives the sword a chance to restore durability on each hit. The first enchantment has a 10% chance of restoring 10 durability, second has 15% chance of restoring 15, uh, 15 durability, and 20% for 20 for the third level. Next we have Vitality, and this lets the player spend 250 durability of the sword, and in exchange it gives you buffs. It, the first level gives you a heal buff for 2 seconds, Second gives you a heal boost plus a speed boost for a minute, and the third level gives you a uh, heal, speed, and resistance for two minutes. So it's pretty good. Next we have Blood Pool, and I don't know why I'm hovering over it so long, but this stores a quarter of the damage into itself with each hit. When you die, the sword releases all the sword energy and heals the player, and won't give you more than ten hearts unless you have the health boost effect. You will still die if the amount of damage dealt to you is greater than the, the amount stored in the sword but that shouldn't be a problem. 
and you have to hold the sword or else it won't work. So that's a cool enchantment. But next we have the K. This can be placed on the Wither's Bane and it causes Wither damage for any entity that you hit that's alive. And I'm going to set the time of day so my Virgil does not get killed. Give me a second. Alright, so anyway, the uh, it has three levels and each level has longer Wither Decay for each uh, hit. Level 1 lasts for 2 seconds, level 2 lasts for 4 seconds, and level 3 lasts for 16 seconds. Expedite can be placed on the Master Sword, and it lets you control time in Minecraft. Every time you right-click, it makes time jump forward 50%, or 50 time. So, level 1 is 50, level 2, 100, and level 3, 150. Next, we have Greed, and this can be placed on the Lapis Sword. This one has a cool, this is a cool enchantment, and it lets you get more XP for mobs that you kill for each kill. So, level 1 would give you... Uh, 10 XP, level 2 drops 20, and level 3 drops 30. And lastly, we have Ender Pulse, and this is probably the coolest enchantment in the mod. Uh, this let this can be placed on the IN sword and lets you teleport to an area uh, for the cost of some durability. Uh, level 1 lets you only teleport within 15 blocks and uses up uh, 50 durability and causes one fall damage, one hard fall damage. Level 2 only works within 30 blocks, uses up 25 durability, and causes half hard of fall damage. And level 3 works within 60 blocks, uses up 10 durability, and does not cause fall damage. So anyway, as you can see, these zombies are holding swords that this mod adds. He's holding the Wither's Bane, and he's holding the Infinity Sword. So that's a really cool feature, and they will do the amount of damage that the sword causes to you. But the only sword that they can't spawn with is the Adminium Arc because that zombie would be overpowered and, like, you'd be dead. So, yeah. And that was a bad idea to put the villager right next to them. But, uh, I'll, I'll just go over here. So, anyway, as you can see, the villager is a new type of villager who is called the Swordsman. And he allows you to trade uh, for swords that the mod adds. And... As you can see, that's had the emeralds and the redstone because these trades are awful. But so he's just like the rest of the villagers. But uh, let's see what his next trade is as I get the draconic blade. Two blaze rods and then seven emeralds for a blaze sword. That's a little ridiculous, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's easier for you just to craft one than trade with this guy. Stay off the streets, kids. Stay off the streets. So, as you can see, now I'm in a stronghold, and this is another cool feature that the mod added, and this is uh, one of the lootable chests inside of the stronghold, and wow, that's very glitchy. But, uh, the Master Sword has been, uh, I found this in the chest, and this is a good time to talk about the chances of swords being in lootable chests, so I'll talk about them now. The Molten Edge, the Aquilea Sword, the Draconic Blade, hey, another chest. Oh, there's no swords in it. Okay, well. Uh, the Molten Edge, the Aqueous Sword, the Draconic Blade, the Glass Sword, the Lapis Sword. Those can only be found in dungeon chests, and each sword has a 15% chance of spawning in the chest. And that looks really cool. Okay. Wow. That's pretty. But, uh, I'm, get I'm getting distracted. Anyway. So, uh, the Bone Sword and the Glass Sword each have a 20% chance of spawning in bonus chests. The Infinity Sword has a 15% chance to be found in blacksmiths. And the Draconic Blade, Molten Edge, Iron Sword, Lapis Sword, and Aquia Sword all have a 15% chance to be found in Strongholds. That's the same chest, god. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back to the, uh, mod review now. Hello, I am back at the mod review, and, uh, so, my villager, my zombies have despawned, and it's the mod review ending. Very sad. But, uh, this is a long video anyway, so. Anyway, Dark Hacks, you are an awesome person. I love you for making this mod. This mod is really cool if you're into combat and stuff. Uh, so, I highly recommend that you download it for all the cool features that it adds and, uh, for a cooler and more fun style of gameplay. So, uh, that's it for the mod review. All the links will be in the description below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and uh, leave in the comments if you're one of those 10 people who will watch this video, uh, and the two who will comment. 
please uh, suggest a mod for me to review next. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Really? 15 bones to get a bone sword? I can craft three of those for the amount that you want for one. And seven emeralds? Are you kidding me? Like, really? What's wrong with you? Die! God, you suck.